Hello everybody. In this episode, we're going to use Scratch to make a game many of you know as Two Truths and a Lie. So, I've uh, just brought in Scratchy the Sprite. You're welcome to bring in anybody else you want. Uh, I've brought in a backdrop. You can totally pick that. If you have some kind of theme, I would encourage you to go with that. Um, so, I just simply hit the surprise and now I'm in a spaceship. All right. First, I'm going to use just the simple when click uh, the green and then some say statements. Uh, my first statement will be for three seconds and just kind of introduce it. And then I'll get into some statements that are true or false. And I want two truthful statements and one that is not the truth, also known as a lie. So here we go. So I've got that all set up. You can use real easy, use the uh, say right there. You can do your own timing. And then we're going to get it to use an ask, okay? Uh, this is uh, fairly new. I don't think we've used this yet. So I'm simply going to write in here which option is a lie, right? Okay. Now, you might notice that there's this, like, box here. We're going to click on that, and actually we're going to use that answer based off of what answers we get, and, and come back to that in just a sec. So something also new that we're going to do is um, we were using some if statements, all right, but now we want to use an if-else statement. Let me kind of move that over. All right, so we want an if statement based off of their answer. And so when I get into the um, operators, I want to have the operator in here, if they answer, and it equals the, um, the truth, um, then we want to tell them they're correct. Um, if it's a lie, then we're going to tell them it's a lie. So. Um, in this case, I'll let you guys in on a secret. I have been to Lake Michigan Beach. I have been to the St. Lucia Beach, which if you ever get a chance to go to either one of those, take it. It's amazing. I have not been to the Statue of Liberty yet. So if the answer is C, then we're going to say, sorry, you are wrong. All right, so I'm going to simply put this and say, all right, so if it's C, I'm going to say, sorry, you are wrong. All right. And if they say anything else, I'm going to tell them you are correct. All right. Let's see what it looks like. And maybe even, whoops, I would even suggest kind of breaking it up here and saying, hey, let's see if it looks, is my timing uh, okay? Is my placement okay? And then you'll notice the ask bar comes down here. So if you have your sprite down here, then you're going to have problems. All right, let me attach that because it all worked well. Let me see if it works here, and it should. I think we're going down the list of directions. It'll The ask question will pop up here. I want to check and make sure that lowercase, sorry, uh, you are wrong. All right, cool. It did work. Also, you know, we can see if it doesn't work. So when it goes through here. Now, you'll also notice this answer bar up here is there. We can get rid of that. Um, let's see. Let me, let me type A, make sure it works. Boom. You're correct. Okay, cool. So let's go back into um, the sensor, and I can just uncheck that box right there so that it goes away up here. All right, so once you have that, you're all good for my assignment. However, I want to challenge you and see if you can get it to do two or three um, questions of two truths and a lie. Maybe even after each section, you jump to a different backdrop. Um, you ask a different, different statements. Uh, so I wanted to encourage you to step up your game and make it into a game of two truths and a lie. All right, do not forget to title this and also show your teachers and your friends when you're done. Thanks. Bye.